I had sleeping problems for about three and a half years um, whilst I was at university, so it meant that my studies were quite affected because I struggled to go to lectures, I struggled to concentrate on the work, um, I found it really hard to do kind of extracurricular things or socialise outside of uni because I was just dealing with getting up and getting to lectures and then I was just really tired all the time, too tired really to do anything else. The medical community has acknowledged that long-term sleep problems can lead to long-term health problems. In a recent survey, 58% of people in the UK admit that they're not getting a good night's sleep. 88% of the people in the survey believe that a new mattress is important to your physical well-being. But worryingly, only 23% of the people in the survey would buy a new mattress in pursuit of a good night's sleep. Back problems cause me considerable um, problems in sleeping and result, resulted in dis disturbed sleep patterns for many years until I invested in a good quality mattress which alleviated the problems considerably. Now I'm older and wiser I wish I'd have had the common sense number many years ago when probably I would have had a much more comfortable life as far as my back was concerned. One of the main reasons that people put off buying a new mattress is that they're afraid of making a mistake and for good reason. The mattresses are expensive and if you do make a mistake you have to live with it for a long time. What you don't want to do is go into a bed store and lay on the mattress like a soldier for 30 seconds and try to make a decision based on that. The other mistake that people make is they look for the most comfortable bed in the showroom. They sink in and they say, that's the most comfortable, that's the one I want. But in fact, your body needs support as well. So while you're lying on the bed, do an inventory down your body. Is my body getting the support that I need? Because it's only the support that's going to give you the deep restorative sleep that you need. I don't think you can really get an idea of a mattress until you've slept on it for a couple of nights. I, I think it probably does affect my sleep. I sleep better in my parents' house on a more expensive mattress than I do in my rented house on a cheaper mattress. It's got to be of comfort to my wife who sleeps with me. She's much lighter and uh, needs the, the comfort of having a, a part of the mattress which suits her sleep pattern, not necessarily mine. The number one reason why people don't like shopping for new mattresses is that they believe that there's just too much choice. But really, mattresses can be divided into just two or three simple categories. There's metal spring mattresses that give you great support but can cause pressure points. Memory foam, invented about 20 years ago, supports your body beautifully but can become hot and humid. And there's a third category made from memory foam springs. It's really taking the best of what metal springs and memory foam have to offer and it's designed specifically to combat the issues that can get in the way of a great night's sleep. Remember, if you're one of those people that aren't getting a great night's sleep, the first thing to do is check your mattress. And if you are shopping for a mattress, make sure you give it a thorough test drive. And when you buy one, make sure that it's both comfortable and supportive.